Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi, everyone. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today, we're going to discuss a very touchy subject, which is actually long overdue, but it needs to be addressed. <laughs> so it is actually open for discussion. So I know um, before I, I get started, I know I'm representing, um, you know, the Miami Dolphin. Let me get up. So, yeah, that's my actual team. Do not talk about the Dolphins. I know we suck, okay? Um, but in order to be the best, you have to beat the best, okay? So we're, we're always losing. And if you guys are going to come and bash the Dolphins because we're losers and you know you're going to win, why not play against someone who's, you know, better than you can talk some smack? How's that? Anyways, Dolphins stand for life. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to business. So we're going to discuss today um, co-parenting. And this is after the breakup slash divorce. So first of all, being a parent does not come with a manual. I mean, if it was that simple, life would be awesome. All right. I actually have two teenagers. Well, my son's 22, my daughter is um, 19. And when I got divorced, I guess I slept outside the Metro PCS building because I bought both of them cell phones because I wanted them to spend time to, you know, talk to their, their dad and just interact with them as much as they can. And I know a lot of parents um, do that, you know, once they separate, then the kids become the um, weapon and they fight back and forth with each other for no reason. I mean, once you hit 17, 18, to me, you're considered old enough to know right from wrong and be an adult at that point. So if you are going to have kids, then you have to deal with raising your kids the right way. And I'm not over here trying to tell anybody how to raise their kids because I'm not perfect, okay? I just know that I love my, my children and, um, you know, I do what I can for them. Don't just say you love them, but then you turn around and you use them to fight with each other. I mean, you keep forgetting the part where the child actually loves both of you and you're over here fighting and, you know, going back and forth and, oh my God, let's talk about child support. So now... The fight, the war is on, all right? So here comes both parties going back and forth. This one says this, this one rebuttals with something else over taking care of what you created. The child did not ask to be here, okay? The sperm did not say to the egg, oh my God, let's unite, let's create something. They did not ask to be here. So you're, you're grown. And people shouldn't have to tell you to take care of your responsibilities. Now, I know some people are going to come at me and say, oh, you know, you're talking this, you're talking that, but so-and-so doesn't want to pay his child support. He doesn't want to have nothing to do with the child, you know. Okay, so then you know what? Be a mom and dad, all right? There's nothing wrong with you being both parents. You got to raise the child the right way. I don't know if you um, ever heard of this uh, poem that someone wrote. I should have looked it up. It's called... Um, children live what they learn take a moment to pull it up you can find it on google and just read over the entire thing because it makes perfect sense okay you know whatever your your child see you know as adults when we do things they copy that you know and then that goes on where they grow up to be kids who act the same way if you love them then you do the right thing um it's not about who's the better parent or who's not the better parent. For example, if I say, no, you have to earn that brand new pair of shoes. And then the child will go to the other parent and try to get the shoes. You as the other parent should say, you know what? What did your mom say or what did your dad say? And then you guys have to follow through because they need structure and they need guidance to know right from wrong and to know when they should get things and when they shouldn't. And things shouldn't be easy for your kids because then they'll grow up to be adults who think that everything should come easy in life, you know, and uh, not work hard for it. You know what I mean? 
kids actually want to be disciplined if you know what i mean like i have had kids where i talk to them because they're staying at my house and they don't listen to their moms and dads but when i say you know no don't do that you're gonna hurt yourself you know they listen um they actually want you to discipline them they don't want you to barter with them meaning um oh if you don't behave I'm not going to let you watch TV or play with your game. You're supposed to be the stern parent. They have to have one parent that they fear. Okay, the living. <laughs> like when they look at you, they see like death. <laughs> that was my dad. My mom was like more like on the, you know, passive side. But my dad did not play. Oh my God, I got some A whooping. Ooh, but you know, I was an angel back then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let's talk about after the separation, after the breakup and he or she starts dating someone else if you think the war is on for child support wait until he or she sees the other person in their lives i mean i don't even know why as adults we tend to do that um it's all about being jealous and insecure and not sure of who you are so first you have to fix yourself no 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 first you have to actually let go then fix yourself in order to move on because not only now you're going to use the child as a, a pawn in between like going back and forth with each other oh i'm not going to let him see you know keisha or michael because this that and the other you're, you're just being petty that's what that is you're being petty so now you call up your girlfriend hey laquanda guess what he over here talking to some new girl and da 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 and worse if that person is just a tad bit more attractive then just call it world war three because it's on and popping then so now you want to go get into an altercation with this person oh i don't want her to touch my child i don't want her to comb her hair first of all if he's with somebody another female and your child is there you know which is also his child and it's a female and she needs to have her grooming and all that and dad can't do it she the other person needs to step in and comb that child's hair they have to accept your you know daughter as if it's their child as well so now you're angry you're fuming now you want to go over there and beat her a so you call up shaniqua and laquita okay and then here everybody comes in the car you know they pull up all loud you know taking off the hoop earrings pulling off the good wig you know the tracks might stay in some of them but yeah she yanks off the good, the good wig and she's ready to fight this other person and mind you now the child is standing there watching all this take place but you love your child and that's what they're looking at really we have to learn to set examples first of all that shouldn't be happening okay your child is watching you get loud for no reason you guys are separated you're not together your main concern at this point should be your son your daughter period that's it who cares who he's talking to you don't even know if it's not going to work out and maybe this person still have feelings for you and want to come back with you now you blew your chances because now you're over there wanting to you know get loud with your two nappy head friends they took off the earrings and put on the vaseline and they're ready to get down and dirty <laughs> if you say you love your child then show them you can't love your child and expect for them to be in a situation like that both of you have to come together as parents and set a foundation you know what i mean it's kind of like if you're building a house you wouldn't build it on sand you want to build it on concrete and you know brick you know steel and and cement you know what i mean um so yeah all that war all that fighting is like not necessary um i've had a rough divorce i'm gonna say and yeah i've thought about being revengeful at times and all that but then i thought about it too and i said but you know what my son my daughter they love their dad just as much as they love me and it's really not their fault i mean i was there too like when they were being conceived i was there and yes i got cheated out of child support um 
health insurance for them and all that stuff, which I'm not going to get into. But as a mom, it was my responsibility to figure it out and to take care of them while all that was being processed and, and handled and whatever. Like you can't be mad at somebody if they don't want to spend time with the child, then you become both parents. And I know somebody's going to say something on this um, video, like negative and, you know, probably yell at me. Well, okay, vent, yell, say what you want to say. I'm just saying what I want to say because I've been there. I've been through it. It's not easy, um, you know, taking care of a child. Some of you don't even want to see each other in, in each other's sight. <laughs> That's how bad it is. It's like, just mail the child in the mail, okay? Send them via uh, FedEx. Don't even come near me. But for real though, you know, we have to, as parents, um, grow up. You know, there's no manual. Like I said, we have to grow up and do what's best and what's right for our kids, you know. And um, it's hard to say, but I actually uh, came up with a um, model that I go by. You know, my thing is, you know, any female can have a child, but it takes a certain one to be a mom. So yeah, don't get caught up in all that stuff. Think about the well-being for your um, child, you know, children, um, and just try to do the right thing. You know, that's all we can do. You know, if there's time spent that's not being spent, do it yourself. You know, figure out how to make them happy. Um, and one thing you never want to do is talk bad about the other parent around your, your child because that's the worst thing you can do keep it to yourself or if you're talking to your girlfriends or whatever you know you're talking to your homeboys try to do it in discreet so the child does not have to you know go through that because when they spend time with the mom or they spend time with the dad it's like they're afraid to go back home and say oh i had such a great time with dad and da 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 because they're gonna feel like you're gonna yell or say something not necessary you're wearing yourself out for no reason and it doesn't get better i'm telling you so yeah um you know this is open for discussion if you want to um you know let me know what your thoughts are on what i have to say then um just leave me a comment down below or you can always email me if you want to bash me or whatever the case is <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to talk about this subject because um it's a huge issue especially here in America, because kids do not, um, the manners went out the window. They go to school, they disrespect their teacher. And then, you know, the teachers are like terrified to call the parent because here comes the parent and the parent's just as arrogant. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, do not hesitate. And don't forget to like and share this video and give me a thumbs up. So I just want to say, I love you, my queens. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Put God first. Keep a clean heart. And always, always know that someone's watching you. So do the right thing. I love you, my queens. One love. Mwah. <laughs>